Steve Kerr on Steph Curry putting up prolific numbers without getting a lot of foul calls. Check out the video. I don't know. I mean, uh, I didn't used to get fouled either, and I would put up my six, and I was like, I don't know how I did it either. I barely got to the line. And um, No, I, I just think that, um, he, I mean, he's he's the most skilled player I, I think I've ever seen. Um, and so, you know, this is a, a league where, you know, the, the game is geared towards the offensive player, as we know. Uh, and so there's a lot of guys who are taking advantage of that and, and seeking fouls. And Steph has just never played like that. Um, he doesn't do that, all that stuff. He just tries to get space because he knows when he gets space, he's going to uh, more than likely knock down a shot. And um, he's... Yeah, he's just, he doesn't spend a, t a lot of time at the line unless, you know, we have a lead and people are fouling down the stretch. But um, he's so good and so skilled that he, he finds a way anyway. Yeah, he just looks uh, more comfortable. He's attacking uh, the rim more. And uh, and I think, you know, the way we're playing is, um, and the lineup that he starts uh, the game with just gives him more space uh, to attack. And, and uh, he's, uh, he's looked really good now for a while you know physically I just think he looks much better than he did early in the season but uh, I think the way our team has evolved and the lineups that we're playing um, kind of feeds into um, everything that he does well and he's just he's playing at a high level playing unselfishly just making the the simple play and I love love how Wiggs is playing right now see Steph get off to a start like that was that kind of built in were you kind of setting it up for him to kind of be aggressive offensively to start not, not really but I, I think this year he's been a little more aggressive in the first quarters in general um, just probably because the, the team is built a little differently and uh, so I think he feels like uh, you know it's kind of it's okay for him to to get going right away this team um, can use that so he, he just kind of sees what the game is offering and um, does whatever he needs to do and speaking of Steph, in that second quarter, he had a good closeout. It forced like a jump ball, and he got really hype. And then in the third quarter, jumps passing lane, gets a steal. A couple possessions later, draws a charge. When he's making plays on that side of the ball, do you think it affects him in a way that really gets everybody going? Yeah, I think I think Steph takes a lot of pride in uh, making plays like that. You know, um, steals or drawing a charge. Making a good defensive play, <laughs> that definitely gets him going and gets our team going too. Why do you think Clay connects with Trace so often? Uh, I, I think because you know Trace is such a good finisher, and when Clay comes off pin downs, um, people are gonna they're scared. They're gonna put two on the ball, and um, he just knows that um, if Trace. After he sets the screen, if he slips and gets to the rim, he knows Clay's or, uh, Trace is going to finish. And they've just had a great connection all year on that that action. Uh, you talked pregame about how you know Chris will kind of slide into that unit. I mean, do you view Trace as kind of an ideal center in that sense, where Clay's connecting with him? Chris theoretically yeah. could pick. I mean, are, do you, I mean Trace had obviously a huge night tonight. Like, do you see him as the center in that unit? Yeah, because he gives Chris a, a lob threat. Um, so you can see what, what that unit um, might look like. And um, so it's it'll be great to get Chris back and, and uh, kind of put that group together and, and um, see how they do. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.